The skipper, the Hall of Famer, Bobby Cox, is in the hospital, suffered a medical ailment last night. Reportedly, it was a stroke. And Brian Snitker, the current manager of the Braves, had these thoughts for our beloved skipper. It, uh, stunned, I guess, reaction. He's holding up great, as Bobby would. I mean, he's a strong man. He's very determined. He's got a strong will. Um, you know, it's just something right now that we're all just doing a lot of praying, and, and um, they're... Uh, For him. Julio Tehran trying to conquer the monster that has been the first inning for him, and that's an issue that goes back to last year. In fact, his first inning ERA last season was 697. First and second, one down for Javier Baez. Wax one, caught by Donaldson at third, throws to second, double play. Great play by Josh on the hot corner, stabbing the line drive, and there's your clean frame. Wasn't one, two, three. But it's a zero up on the board nonetheless and a fine defensive play by Donaldson of the Braves. Ronald going to get a nice round of applause as he signed an eight-year extension with the Braves yesterday. 21 years old, and he said he loves it here, loves his teammates, loves Atlanta, and wants to be a part of this for a long time. And we were thrilled to hear it. He just is thrilled with a base hit here to give the Braves the lead. Runners at first and third. There's a swing and a bouncing ball to short. Baez has it. Go to second one. Turned by Descalso. Double play. 6-4-3. Inning ending. Twin killing. Nice pickup by Baez on the short hop moving to his left. He quickly got the ball to Descalso and he turns it for a double play. So one down. Runners at first and third. And climbing in is the pitcher John Lester. Here's the pitch to Lester. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Cubs lead one to nothing. John Lester swinging away and looping a soft line drive into shallow right center. It drives in the game's first run. Cubs lead one to nothing. Dansby Swanson leads off for the Braves in the third inning. And a drive hit high in the air, deep right field. That ball's got a chance. That ball is gone. That is the first opposite field homer in Dansby Swanson's career. He started doing that in Orlando, and he's been doing it ever since. That's what I love about Dansby. Look how good that swing is. His eyes are on that ball the whole time. Look at this. He knew it, too. I mean, he drove that ball in the right center gap. You saw him doing it the last two exhibition games here, but now this one counts. And off a guy like Lester. Well, that gets things even for Atlanta. One apiece. His second home run, 391. Very happy feet. With Ozzy standing in now. And he drives one to right field and deep. Zobrist back for that one. That one's going to go. Another Atlanta Braves stand inside it going the other way. And I think Lester's baffled out there right now. He can't believe what he's seeing. This is another pitch show that he tried to go in, and Lester left it out of the plate. And you see, he didn't even watch it. There's two strikes, and you see how calm Ozzy is? He's relaxed in there. So you get a home run from your eighth place hitter. You get a two-strike homer from your leadoff man. And now all of a sudden, you've got a 2-1 lead off John Lester at home. And Ozzie Albies, believe it or not, that's his first homer against a starting pitcher in 151 at-bats. That dates back to the All-Star game last year. Last year. So after the leadoff hit, Tehran has back-to-back -back strikeouts. It'll bring up Javier Baez. He's getting that heater right here. There you go. And Julio struck out the side after a leadoff hit. The night is done for Julio Tehran. Time for Johnny Venters. And next up is the catcher, Wilson Contreras. High deep drive out in the center. She's going to go. Wilson Contreras gives the Cubs the lead. Oh, how sweet is that? Wow, that was beastly. So his first of the season, and the Cubs had their second lead of the night. Wilson Contreras has his third hit of the game. And now an insurance run is 90 feet away. First and third, two outs for Daniel Descalso. Now the 0-1. It's a wild pitch. Rizzo's going to try to score, and he does. Great base running Anthony Rizzo going to second on the play. Contreras, Cubs lead 4-2. to two. Your big slugging first baseman to be able to pull this off is most impressive. That could be a huge run. Steve Cichek walked the bases loaded. Joe now turns to Randy Rosario in a two-run ball game. Here's Johan Camargo. Swing and a shot towards center. Almora on the run. That's over his head. Up against the wall. Two-run score. Here comes Nick around third. Relay throw is late. It's a bases clearing double as Camargo comes through. Look at that. There you go. 
He laid off that first pitch to try to get him to chase. He came with the heater right here. Johan did not miss this. He hit a bullet to right center. Camargo clutch in the eighth, and the Braves take the lead right back. Ball run right in the outer half, and you see what he did. To me, this was an interesting decision by Joe Madden. I, I told you, Camargo from the right side, that's his, to me, his powerful side, his pop, and Rosario put it right in there for him, and it's a bases clear double, Braves lead. And the first time for me to break out my favorite line. Sports writers and managers hate leaky pens. And the Cubs give up three runs thanks to three eighth inning walks. Atlanta looking for some eighth inning insurance. And now the great thing for Dansby is if he hits a fly ball of any depth, you can get a run with a sack fly here. High fly towards center. Almora will retreat. Tagging at third is Camargo. There's the catch. Here comes the throw. It is going to be up the first base line and advancing as well as Tyler Flowers. Dansby Swanson with a two RBI night. Braves get a big insurance run. A four run inning makes it 6 4. I'll tell you, you hear people say playing the game the right way. That's how you play the game right there. All you need is that one run. You don't have to try to gap one, you don't have to try to get big. And Dansby does exactly what he's supposed to do. Put one deep enough in the outfield to score Johan. Give yourself a two-run lead for your closer. Rodis Vizcaino is on the mound for the Braves, trying to seal away a 6-4 Atlanta lead. Three and two, and here it is from Biz. Outside miss with a fastball. And the booze rained down on Marvin Hudson. Freeman holding Rizzo at first, who has a very small lead. One-two on the way. Got him swinging strike three. Two down here in the ninth inning. He went slider away and Jim it looked like that exact same pitch. They just fouled off the pitch before. Tying run remains of the plate in Kyle Schwarber. Two down. Deuces are wild for Schwarber. He got him and the Braves have won the series. 